chocolate raspberry crescent ring. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo mix 12. Hello, everyone. First thing we're going to do is make the raspberry sauce. Now, the original recipe asks for 10 to 14 ounces of frozen raspberries. That's actually 10 ounces, about two cups that you're seeing here. And they say to add a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of sugar. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, even before we get into this recipe, that this makes way too much sauce for this recipe. Way too much sauce. I'm gonna recommend you cut these ingredients in half and you should have just enough for this recipe. So once you get your raspberries, water and sugar into the pot, you're gonna heat it on medium high heat Cook and stir until the raspberries defrost and start to break apart as they cook. Bring it to a boil and you're gonna boil it for about five minutes. Now, keep in mind, this is gonna splatter like crazy. Make sure you're wearing an apron or clothing that you don't care too much about getting stains on. Then you'll need a quarter cup of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir that together. And you're gonna add this mixture to your cooking raspberries. Pour it in and then cook for an additional two minutes or so until it starts to thicken up. Once it, it has thickened up, remove it from the heat and your sauce is pretty much done. Now you can use it just the way it is with all the seeds in there if that's what you like. If you want a nice kind of clear, smooth sauce though, you can put this through a sieve. So I've got a wire mesh sieve pour the sauce in there and then let it drip through. You can hurry it along with a spoon just by pressing it to the bottom of the sieve and you'll see all that nice sauce coming out the bottom. And then we'll move on to the next part of the recipe which is the actual crescent ring. So you'll need crescent rolls for this. One package of crescent rolls, open it up and then you'll have one big dough sheet that's cut up into eight pieces with little perforations. So go ahead and pinch all those perforations together because we want one dough sheet. Now I know that you can buy this stuff in single sheets without perforations. We don't have that where I live at all. So if you're like me, you'll have to pinch up those little perforations so you get one dough sheet. Then in another bowl, that's a half a cup of chocolate chip semi-sweet and a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil. And you're gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes until they're melted. Give it a stir so it's nice and smooth and then pour that melted chocolate on top of the crescent roll dough sheet. Spread it around until it's even, I don't know, leave about a quarter inch of dough at the edges without chocolate on it, just to make it a little bit less messy to handle. And then roll it up from the long side until you get a nice big roll. And then you're ready to cut these into pieces. Now, the recipe says 12 pieces. So I just took a knife and I just made some marks to try to get 12 even pieces. The recipe says to use a knife to cut these and clean your knife off in between cuts. You can do that, but I'm telling you, this is much easier. Take a piece of dental floss, unflavored, put it underneath, bring it up. Look, make like you're making a single knot and then just pull and it'll slice through that dough like so easily. And then you'll get a nice clean cut each time and it'll be completely mess free or virtually mess free. Then I put a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet and I took all those crescent roll pieces and I just started making a ring shape. Now you don't have to make a ring shape. You could make a long line. You could make the shape of a letter or a number, whatever you want but you can make a ring and that's just by overlapping the pieces slightly. And I did a pretty terrible job putting this together because I kind of made like an oblong shape and they kind of weren't all facing in the right direction. But anyway, you get the general idea. I'm sure you can do a better job. Bake it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes till it's golden brown. And then I just slid that parchment right off that cookie sheet while these were still warm. And then I wanted to plate it. So what I did is I lifted that up placed it kind of on top of the plate and then I loosened it with a spatula and then just gently pushed it onto the plate and I actually pushed it into more of a ring shape at the same time and while these are still warm or still hot out of the oven you're going to pour on that raspberry sauce now the amount of raspberry sauce you put on is up to you you can just drizzle a little bit 
and then offer people a container on the side if they want more. I added about a half a cup or so of raspberry sauce on top of these and even at a half a cup or so there was still a ton left that was unused. That's why I was recommending that you only make half a recipe to begin with. And you need to eat this while it's still warm out of the oven. That's when it's its best. And I tell you that combination of semi-sweet chocolate and that raspberry sauce is just absolutely amazing. Like really, really good. Here's a close up of the texture. You can see the flaky crescent roll, that chocolate layer, and then that raspberry sauce on top. Oh, it's so good. I dare you to try not to eat these yourself as they come out of the oven. They're that good. So that the raspberry sauce is kind of has a little tartness to it because of the raspberry because then there's not a ton of sugar in it and it just goes so well with that dark chocolate. Now this doesn't make a huge dessert. It probably makes enough safe. If you're having a dinner party of four people, each person will get about three pieces, three little sections, and it would be enough for a light, light dessert for somebody. Um, you, or you could even just make it for two and just put the plate in between you and just grab a fork. Now I've always had an absolute fascination with recipes that use crescent rolls. I don't know why, but I, every time I see one, I'm just so excited and I really want to try it. Some of them turn out awesome, like this one. I would put this one in the top maybe three or so that I've ever done. And some that aren't so good. But they're all on my channel in a playlist if you want to see my crescent roll recipes. Go ahead and click on your screen or look for the link in the description box. Thanks for watching.